welcome back to the channel. So what you see on the table here is a toy gun from China. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure what's this, but it was sent to me by Backyard Blasters. So yeah, huge shout out to him and yeah, really thankful for him for sending sending this to me. So yeah, he also sent me a holster as well to go with this uh, Desert Eagle, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it says Desert Eagle over here. So it's pretty interesting, and as well as his business card over here. And that's the back. So he has, he, on his website, he sells many other plastic toy guns, replicas as well, that fires foam darts, so that's interesting. So without further ado, let's open up the box. Oops. Right, so out of the box is the gun, toy gun or blaster. Actually, I don't know what, what to call this. Actually, I have no idea. And it comes with darts as well and another business card, so that's interesting. Where did the other dart go? Alright, so the darts are here. So if I'm not wrong, it comes with four of the darts. And they are suction cup darts, so that's interesting. But this one got kind of squished during the shipment. Now, yeah, let's throw that away. That's useless. Right, so this is the toy gun. It's pretty small, definitely not one to one scale of the real Desert Eagle. And yeah, how it works is you insert the dart in front over here, you pull this back, and you fire. Oh, yeah, it actually sticks on the. Hey, let me try it again. It sticks on the. Yeah, it sticks on the display case. So that's interesting. Sounds powerful as well, but well, we'll see. And yeah, let's go on to the firing range and test out how far this blaster can actually go. Well, and this is the holster. Wait, I haven't talked about the holster yet, right? So yeah, this is the holster. And how the holster actually works is you insert the blaster inside here. And it looks pretty nice. <coughs> Sorry. For that. And yeah, it looks really nice with the toy gun inside. So, yeah, that's really cool. But sadly, this thing is for right handers only. I'm a lefty, so this is going to be a problem for me. But, well, whatever. It doesn't really affect me much. But, yeah, let's... Wow. Okay, that's interesting. This thing does not have an air restrictor inside. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Alright, right, so for the firing test, test, I'll be firing off one of the... Uh, Actually, I'll just be firing off the Nerf compatible darts. So, yeah, let's see whether it actually works on this uh, blaster. So, I have it primed already and let's fire. So, that's the first shot and this is a Nerf dart. Yeah, as you can see, the, the performance is not really fantastic. It's actually a bit bad. But, what, what can I say? This is, this is a small blaster and I doubt the plunger tube size is actually very big or so. Let's fire a few more darts. Okay, well that was bad. Okay, well, let's go on to the final opinion of the Desert Eagle well, for toy the final blaster. opinion of the Desert Eagle toy blaster. I would say, yeah, it's a pretty little interesting blaster. I mean, well, it's a cool blaster if you're into those uh, toy gun replica collecting, and I'm sure you'd be interested in getting this uh, toy gun. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really interesting about this blaster. The bad thing is only the range of this, but I can't complain much as this is not a Nerf blaster. So, yeah, you wouldn't expect so much out of this, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much sums up for the review of this blaster. There's nothing really much to talk about. It's just simple pullback and fire. Wow. Wait, I just found out something interesting. This blaster actually has a good seal. You see, uh, if I put my finger in front here, just my finger, and I press the trigger. Wow. This blaster has an amazing seal for a toy blaster. Yeah, that, that's really, that's something interesting. I didn't expect this blaster to have a seal. That's almost a, about 80%, 90% seal. Yeah, so that, that's interesting, okay. That is a pretty good seal for a blaster like this, so. Yeah, this one got something nice about this is that it has a good seal. So that is pretty much sums up my review for the Desert Eagle Toy Blaster as well as the holster, which actually has nothing much to talk about. It's just you put it on the side of your belt. Yeah, 
But basically, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll leave a few links down in the description about uh, Backyard Blasters uh, channel as well as the web store. So yeah, go go ahead and check them out. They are, he's a uh, Finn's a cool guy, and yeah, see you guys in the next video.